Hi there, this is your favorite non-Indian math channel and let's see how we can solve this finite sum. Uh, well, one way would be that if we consider geometric sequence x to the k, uh, so k is from 0 to n, and if I have this, I know that this is going to be equal to 1 minus x to the n plus 1 over 1 minus x. And since this is not even infinite sum, this is true for any x. Normally we would have when the absolute value of x is less than 1. Uh, so this is true for any x. Then we can just differentiate both sides. I'm not going to do that. And k times x to the k minus 1. And if I also multiply both sides by k, uh, sorry, if I multiply both sides by a x, then I'm going to get this left hand side. And so it's just going to be, imagine, let, let's say this thing is y, okay? So my expression is going to be y prime times x. And that's, that's the end of it. I mean, you, you can solve it easily. But there is nothing interesting about this, okay? So I'm not going to do it this way. Let, let's think of uh, another solution. So if I name this sequence a n, okay? Uh, and if I consider a n plus 1 minus a n, you can do this for any sum, and you will get only the a n plus 1 term because you're adding n plus 1 terms, subtracting a n terms, so you, it, 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 there will be only left with the last term. So it's going to be n plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. So it just gave me the last term. Okay? Uh, and now, if I want to solve this linear recurrence relationship, I already learned it, except for this right-hand side, because this particular solution uh, may be a bit tricky, but it's not. <laughs> uh, so, uh, I know that to solve this homogeneous equation, which means that if the right-hand side is zero, uh, so what I would do is just consider the char characteristic polynomial, which is just r minus 1 is equal to 0, then I find r is equal to 1. So I can say uh, my homogeneous solution is going to be a times r to the 1, r to the n. So it's just 1 to the n is just 1, so I'm not going to write it. So my homogeneous solution is a. And my particular solution, uh, here I should be a bit careful. So I can say I'm going to multiply it by a constant. We always do it. And I can say n plus 1 over 2 to the n plus 1. But here, uh, I, I don't know if in the end it's going to be n plus 1, okay? It may be for any number. Let's say it's n plus c, okay? By saying n plus c, I'm considering every case. Uh, also, for simplicity, I can say this is 2 to the n because I can always make 2 to the n into 2 to the n plus 1 because I have this constant, okay? If I multiply it by uh, 1 over 2, I will get this thing, okay? Uh, so this is a fair particular solution. And now if I just substitute these, I will get a n is equal to homogeneous solution plus particular solution, b times n plus c over 2 to the n. I did this just for simplicity, okay? Uh, so now, to solve this, I have three constants, a, b, c, and I don't know what are they. And to be able to solve that, I need three values of a, n, okay? Uh, so, if I put n is equal to 0, I, I won't get anything, okay? It, it will be just 0 term, and which is 0. So, a0 is equal to 0. And if I put n is equal to 1, I will get, when k is equal to 1, I will get 1 over 2. It will be only this term. And if I put n is equal to 2, it will be 1 over 2 plus uh, 2 over 4, which is again 1 over 2. So a2 is also equal to 1. So now, when I use this, I will be able to find a, b, and c. So I know that a0 is 0. So if I put n is equal to 0 here, I will get a plus b times, so n is 0, c over, uh, this is just going to be 1. So let's say a plus b, c. This is equal to 0. And if I put n is equal to 1, I know that this is going to be equal to 1 over 2. And if I put n is equal to 1, it will be a plus b times 
1 plus c over 2. And if I put n is equal to 2, we said that a2 is equal to 1. So this is going to be a plus b times 2 plus c over 4. Okay, uh, so now if I just subtract first equation from second, uh, I will get these a's cancelling out. And I have bc over 2 here. Uh, let, let's write it, okay. So I'm just subtracting it. Uh, and I'm going to get in B parentheses, I have 1 plus C over 2 here, 1 plus C over 2, and here I have only C, minus C. So this is equal to 1 over 2. So I can say this is 2C, so this, this is going to be B times 1 minus C. Uh, and I'm just multiplying both sides by 2, so 2s are cancelling out. So I have this, okay? Uh, so this is my first part. Uh, and let's get another. So if I uh, subtract second from third, okay, I will again get have the b's cancelling out, a's cancelling out, and I have 2 plus c over 4 minus 1 plus c over 2, and I can just uh, expand it by 2, so it will be 2 plus 2c two over 4, because I will have the 2's cancelling out. So this is 1 over 2. And so I can just say these two visible cancel out. It will be minus BC over 4. So I will just multiply all sides by 4. This is going to be equal to 4 over 2, which is 2. So I know what is BC. Uh, BC is just minus 2. So I have here minus BC, which is just 2. So here, this is minus BC. If I just expand it, plus B. So if I know that BC minus BC is 2, so this is 2, so b is going to be minus 1. Let's write it here. b is going to be equal to minus 1. So I found b. And uh, it's easy to find c because c is just uh, uh, my minus 2 over b. So c is just going to be equal to minus 2. Sorry, c is just going to be 2 because minus b is just 1. So this is my C value. And for A, let's just look at the simplest one. I know that BC is equal to minus 2. So A is going to be equal to 2. Cool. So we're almost done. Let's wrap it up. So I said my AN is A plus B times M plus C over 2. So I can just substitute what, we are, what I have found. So A is just 2 plus B is minus 1. Let's make this minus. And I have C is equal to 2, so it's going to be N plus 2 over 2 to the N. And this is my answer, and we can finish it here.